Welcome back to Crystal Clear on the Roundtable. I'm Osher Gott, and is Pink Diamond still inside, Steven? Pink Diamond, Rose Quartz, you know, I don't think I'll ever just settle on one name, because in just a week, they've already become pretty interchangeable. Anyways, the episode of Singapore Rose was huge for the series in more ways than one. Not only is Rose's secret out, a secret that will change the dynamic of the Crystal Gems as we know it, but the lore of the series has expanded as we were introduced to the concept of Pearlception. Alright, that's probably not the best name for it, but we discovered that Pearl can sense Steven even inside of her gemstone. Inside that gemstone lies another pearl. Inside of her is a past pearl. And then another one, and then another one, and then another one. God, so many pearls. But this pegs the question, are pearls the only gems capable of doing this? Well, if you ask me, no. This ability is not exclusive to pearls because we have seen one other gem do this before in the series. Peridot. In her debut episode Warp Tour, the little bomb grenade device thingy she uses to deactivate all the robinoids was actually something she removed from her gemstone. But unfortunately, this was the only time we've seen Peridot do anything like this. And since season one was so long ago, this could have been retcon. But for argument's sake, let's say it's stuck. Let's say that's a thing Peridots can do. Not to mention the first pearl inside of Pearl had all of Pearl Spears organized, which answered the age-old question of how do gem weapons work? Do they just create a new one every time they summon it? Or are there multiples of each? We saw Amethyst summon two in the episode Earth and then their upgrades from business just disappeared. But if we can use Pearl to make assumptions about other gems with weapons, then yes, they have a mass inventory of weapons within their gem. Now, unfortunately, we did not see Pearl's trident in there, so it's still a mystery of where did business upgrades go? Unless the gem's weapons are constantly produced. So what we saw was one section of many, many spears. Thus, some within Pearl's gem lies her weapon upgrades. Although, also come to think of it, there is a gap between SP for spears and and TR for Trident, so that could also be the explanation, it'd just be kind of out of place with any other mundane human stuff Pearl has accumulated. Bringing it back to the main topic, assuming every gem has their previous regenerations within them, all reflecting different periods of their lives, what does this mean for Steven, who's in possession of Pink Diamond's gem? Could this mean Pink Diamond Rose Quartz is still within Steven? Now going off the book Guide to the Crystal Gems, gems are supercomputers. Their gemstone is more or less the hardware, while their actual form is more like software. And the impression I had from Steven for so long was that when Rose turned into him, she basically initiated a factory reset, a hard wipe clean of any of her memories, thus reducing Steven to his own person with her abilities. Hence, factory reset, the bare bone essentials. And it feels like it's been established through dialogue like, what am I going to do when she disappears? Or the insinuation that if Steven gets poofed or just dies, he won't be coming back. That leads us to the conclusion we've heard the last of Rose Quartz. But it's seems as if that notion was debunked. Now, Steven's empathy, dream powers have always been vague, and now we understand why. Crying Blue Diamond's tears, seeing through her eyes, accessing Pink Diamond's memories on Jogo Moon and then the Earth Moon base. That was Steven tapping into Pink Diamond, her memories, her subconscious, her feelings. So her memories, her personality couldn't have been wiped. It almost feels as if they were backed up somewhere within the gym. Now, there hasn't been anyone, anything like Steven. So perhaps Rose's assumptions, the fact Steven was under the impression he lacked her memories was just false, or at least a bit miscalculated. So if Steven, or at least his gemstone, does possess Rose Pink Diamond's memories, because I'm assuming the memories in Steven's human brain and Pink Diamond's memories in her own gemstone are two separate things, then it stands to reason that a form of Pink Diamond is lingering within. The problem would just be, how do you access that? Because of the Steven perspective rule, let's say if Steven did figure out how to send someone inside of his gem, he wouldn't be able to see that. So while logically it works, it may not be a route the show's narrative will take. But not all hope is lost. We don't know the extent of Steven's dream powers, and like I said, if his brain and jump zone are separate, then perhaps in his dreams, Steven can find a way to send his brain into his jump zone, if that makes sense. Because his brain and jump zone are clearly linked, he's able to use Pink Diamond's abilities by his own accord. And I love when we got another Steven in the Stevens type episode, Steven going inside of his gem, there'd be a Steven out there, there, they chat, he goes inside that Steven, and then we have Widow Toddler Steven from the accident intro. He goes inside that Steven, we have Rose Court, 
once Steven's finally able to more or less properly meet Rose. Unless you count Storm in the room, it was his projection, but who knows? With everything we've learned, maybe Rose at the very end of the episode really was talking to Steven, and not just his brain talking to him. And then if you want to take a step further, he can go inside once more and have a chat with Pink Diamond before she turned to Rose full time. But also, Steven probably wasn't even thought of back then, so his best bet would be meeting a Rose around the time she was pregnant with Greg. Or maybe none of this will happen and I'm a crazy person. What do you think? Do you believe Pink Diamond is still inside Steven's gym? If so, what interactions would you like to see? Honestly, if Steven came face to face with his mother, even if it's just a past version of herself within Steven, we could at least get some answers. Maybe even an apology for throwing Steven into everything. Let us know in the comments below or tweet your thoughts directly to me at AustricVox or at the Roundtable on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, all at RoundtableVids. Wanna help the Roundtable grow? Subscribe to us on Patreon. Get access to exclusive perks and have your name featured at the end of the video like all these beautiful, wonderful people. Link in the description. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, and if you're new here, subscribe. Hit that bell for notifications, stay in loop with all things Steven. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have an awesome day. Ostrich Fox, out. <laughs>